All right, hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tax Lean TV. So in today's episode, we're gonna talk about how to find the county list, so stay tuned. All right, so we're always getting emails, how do I get the county's list? I can't get the county's list. Who do I contact to get the county's list? And it's often a huge problem for people who have never gotten into this before because one, the county websites aren't super user-friendly and they're designed sometimes a little back in the 90s. It looks like they were designed in the 90s, so it's really hard to find these lists. That being said, there are some great counties as well. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to focus on the bad ones or how to find a list in a county that is just doesn't have an easy, easily navigable website. So bear with me as I make up words here. So what I'm going to talk to you today about is a website called NACO.org. It's uh, the National Associations of Counties. I don't know what the O stands for, but if you just type in www.naco.org, N-A-C-O, it'll pull up the actual website of this association of counties, and it basically what happens is you can go in and find the county. So this is going to be a quick video, so what I'm going to do is on the screen here, I'm going to show this is NACO. And if you look in the top left corner, there'll be a drop down, and you can click it, and it will be a little drop down menu, and there'll be a little button that you can click that says find a county. So this is step one. Step one is find a county. So in order to get the list, we have to find out what county we want to get the list in. So let's say, let's use for this example for this, we're going to use Bibb County in Georgia. So you're going to type in Bibb, and then it's going to pull up this screen that you see, and it's going to be, it's going to show a couple of Bibb counties, but we want the one in Georgia. So I'm going to click that. And what it's going to do is it's going to pull up another menu that says a bunch of, it basically says everything you need to know about the county. So it tells you who the county officials are, the commissioners, the tax assessors, the tax collectors, collectors and everything. And it's also going to have the county website on it. So now what I'm going to want you to do when you're trying to find this list is you're going to click on the county website, which is in the top left corner of this little box. And it's always a good idea to just make note of who the county tax assessor is, just in case you have to get in touch with them. So... Jumping back to the website, you're going to click on that little link and it's going to take you to the website in that county. Now, here's a, here's a note. Sometimes websites go down. Maybe sometimes the counties don't actually have a good website. So in that case, you're going to have to actually get the number for the county and call them. If you don't have the number for the county or you can't find it, we actually sell a training guide. It's $27. And with that guide, training guide on tax liens and deeds, it actually has uh, all the phone numbers for all the counties in the United States. So you can be sure to pick that up. I'm going to put that on the screen. You'll see a little thing on the screen and you can click that and that's where you can buy that. But let's say you go to the website and you successfully get there and there's the website. This is where you're going to have to do a little bit of digging and you're going to have to find out um, where the lists are. So it could be called tax delinquent list. It could be called a property list. There's a bunch of different names, but you're going to have to click around the website until you find the actual list itself. So this might take a few minutes to kind of get used to it. Sometimes these county lists, they don't make it easy to find all the time. So just be sure to be patient with it. And if you do run into any problems, again, calling the county is the way to go. So if you can't find the list online, you're going to have to call the county. It's just going to come down to that. But a lot of the counties in Georgia I've found have really great websites and they make it really easy to find over this uh, like tax lists or overages lists or all the bunch of different lists that you have. And then if you call them, they're also really helpful and they, they want to help you find them, these property lists. So the key takeaways from this video are there are three main steps to finding the county lists. One, you need to find out the county website. So to do that, we use NACO.org. So you go to NACO, you find the county website, you click on that county website, that's step two. So now you're going to be on the county website and you're going to want to find something that uh, looks like property delinquent list or delinquent list or tax lien list, tax list, something around that area. Um, on that on that website and then that is going to bring you to the place where you'll find the property list and you can usually download it and it's a list uh, in an Excel spreadsheet format. Now if you can't find that the third step would be to call the county and in order to do that you're gonna have to have the county phone number which you can generally find on the website but if for some reason they don't have a website or you can't find it on the website there's always options of uh, our training guy which is twenty seven dollars and it has a bonus in it which has all the county phone numbers in it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw that up here right now. You're going to be able to see that. If you click that link, it'll take you to the sales page where you can buy that. If you don't want to buy it, that's fine. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you'll find a county and a county tax sale list using the internet. So thanks for watching, guys. appreciate you spending your time here. Uh, for more great videos, feel free to subscribe. I'll put that link uh, 
right here in front of you so you can see it. You can subscribe by clicking there and you'll get uh, instant access to all the videos that we upload usually before we send them out to our list so you'll have uh, first timer information or first, first dibs at the information I should say. And yeah, so subscribe and thanks for watching and stay tuned for more great episodes of Tax Lane TV. See you guys. And that's what you need to look out for. It'll be right on the foreclosed list on the far left. So normally what happens when we go to a tax sale and do research, we like to drive the properties and we like to get out and kind of look around, which we don't, we can't tell you to do because it's sometimes technically not fully uh, legal. But uh, so going